Hello everyone, welcome back for part two of Building with Foam uh, featuring the sectioned foam fuselage technique and hot wire cut foam wings. Uh, this video is going to continue in the uh, more or less conversational tone and the real nitty gritty won't start until the next video. But this time we've got to talk about where we're going to get the plans and also a word or two about CAD programs. Now if you are familiar with CAD and you already have a favorite CAD program then by all means just skip the second half of this video because that's what we're going to be talking about. Just basic free CAD programs that are available online that anyone can use. The first part we're going to discuss uh, model aircraft plans and where you can get them and specifically the kind of plan that's necessary in order to produce this kind of model. We're going to be talking about three main sites, AeroFred, Hip Pocket Aeronautics, and Outer Zone. And let's get to those right now. And we'll talk about again the plans, the plan we're going to select, and in, at Outer Zone we'll show you the exact plan to download to continue with this series. Stick around. Okay guys, here we are with the three websites that I mentioned earlier where you can download plans for free on the internet. They are AeroFred, Hip Pocket, uh, Builders Plan Gallery, and Outer Zone. And we're going to take a look at AeroFred first. But before we do, I'd like to put in a word for these guys that run these sites. All of the plans that are on here are available for free downloads. These sites are maintained by individuals and they operate on a donation basis. If you find them useful, as I do, then a small donation would really be helpful. It'll help keep these guys going and some of the plans that are posted here are not available anywhere else. They're out of print, they're really old antique plans, uh, and would not be around anymore if it weren't for the people running these sites. I'm not financially interested in any of the sites. I have no axe to grind there, but I do support them with a small yearly donation, and I hope that you'd feel the same way. Okay, getting on to the actual search terms, let's take a look at what happens on AeroFred. When we do a couple of searches, the first one that, uh, that we're going to do, of course, is uh, A6M. That's what we're looking for. So let's see if that turns up what we want. A6M in the search box. Hit search and uh, hmm, we get three. Only three. This first one um, shows pictures only in the thumbnail, although there is a plan available in the download. This second one is a nice three view. And the third one is an actual set of building plans, which may also have a couple of color plates included with various color schemes for zeros, which that might be useful just to download just for that. But right now, let's talk about the kind of plan that you want to get. And this is a good place to do that because this is the kind you do not want. The three views are nice, and if you're just looking for panel outlines and that sort of thing, this would be a, a good reference to have. However, it has no fuselage formers at all showing fuselage shapes at various stations along the way. That won't do us much good for the technique that we're going to use. This plan, however, does. I uh, might have difficulty seeing them in this small thumbnail, but they're there. I'm not going to bother in going opening this one and going into in-depth because this is not the one that we're going to actually be using, but just to show you that this one does have formers. That's the kind of plan that we're going to be looking for. Now we talked about search terms up here and only got three hits with A6M, but let's see what happens when we search for zero on AeroFred. Now zero, we're a lot more successful. Now we've got 29 plans, three pages worth. And again, we can scroll through and see the various thumbnails. Uh, that's even a profile model. Um, if we go through these, we would see the original three that we saw plus a good many more. We're not going to do that now because this is not going to be the site we're going to get the plan that we're going to use from, but 
it just shows you that changing the search term only can determine what you get as a result of that search. Moving on now to hip pocket aeronautics. In, at the hip pocket site, you must be a member of your builder's forum. And registration is free and simple. But once you're a member of the builder's forum and registered there, then you can come to their plans gallery. The plans gallery here is really neat because they feature a lot of free flight and indoor stuff here. Uh, maybe more so than either of the other two uh, sites. But they also have a bunch of RC plans. So let's do a search here and see what we end up with. Now we're going to do A6M. Again, we come down here to search by keyword. And let's see what we've got this time. I've typed it in so many times, it's already here in the drop-down box for us. So uh, I tell you what we'll do. We'll do A6M first here. And see what uh, see what turns up. Okay, A six M turned up one. Well, that's not very good. But uh, in this particular case, what it does show up is a uh, tech drawings and three views, which it's a very nice file, and I've downloaded it and taken a look at it. It's good for reference, but that's not what we need. Let's go back and do another search instead of A six M this time. Let's search on zero. And again, I've searched so many times it's popping up for me, but there we go. Type zero in the search box, hit search down here, and let's see what happens. Now we're in a lot better shape. We've got 18 plans. They show up as a set of thumbnails again. Uh, if you want to download more than one of these, all you've got to do is come down here and click on package, and that puts it in a queue over here, and you can download all of them at once. Uh, going down through here, we see various plans from different sources. This is a good time to mention, like these Comet plans. Comet included these plans with their kits. They are builder's plans for the kits and show how to assemble it, but they don't show parts. The parts, of course, were included in the kit, so they didn't draw them on the plan. Just how to put them together. But you look over here, and here is a plan that does have a good set of formers. This is not the one we're going to use, but it's a good set of formers anyway. So that's two of the three sites, and let's move on to the last. Outer Zone is the one that I uh, pretty much use first and prefer, but they're all three great sites. So we're going to do the same thing here with Outer Zone. So let's, uh, give, uh, let's give Zero a shot here. That was our best one on a couple on one site, not the other. Let's see what happens here. Zero turned up 131 plans. However, it turned up a lot of false positive. I have no idea how a Cessna 310 is coming up um, under Zero or a Balaka Cruise Master or, or a B26. Perhaps somewhere in these write ups, the word Zero was found in those write ups somewhere, but we're not getting kind of the plans that we're looking for. If we looked at all 131, we would probably find it. But let's see if we can do this a little bit simpler. Let's go back to search here. And instead of uh, zero here, let's do A6M. Now, remember on Aerofred, this didn't work very well. Let's see if it works well here. Ah, oh, it worked well here. So some sites, some terms will show up plans. Other searches, not so much. But this is the one that we're going to uh, to use. We only found 13, but they're good ones. And as a matter of fact, we're going to use this plan by J.A. Fleming. It's a plan from Aeromodeler back in 1973. Coincidentally, it's a 36-inch span. Um, I say coincidentally because that's the size that we're going to be building. Now, it doesn't matter that it's 36. We could choose the 52, the 27, or the 80. We're going to scale it in our CAD program. So the size here doesn't matter. But this plan by J.A. Fleming from Aeromodeler is the one we're going to use. Merely click on that and another thumbnail will pop up and show you what's included that you're going to be getting in this. Uh, there's a short write-up about uh, the, the plan and 
goes into some of the building about it. And there's also a, a build uh, document that comes in along with this plan. We're not going to be building a stick tissue like uh, model like this, but this is a very good plan for what we want. As you can see, it's got a good side view, a good top view, and in this case, we've got very good uh, cockpit and uh, bubble top views so that we can recreate that and either vacuum form or make a solid painted canopy. So this canopy here gives us a nice, uh, a lot of nice information on size and position and frames. But also take a look over here on the side, you can see we've got formers all over the place. And if we look on the side view, you can see that they're spaced very nicely for what we're going to be using it for. Now we're probably not going to be at these exact spaces. We're going to change this in CAD to match the thickness of our foam. But the important positions where we're going to need formers are all shown. So that is really going to be a big help here in this case. So we're going to go with this plan. Come down here, click download, and it comes down and downloads a file. Now the file that we're going to download is a PDF, and you can show you see it showing up down here. We'll show this in the folder and open the PDF file. Now PDF files are great and they're vector format files, which means they can be enlarged without losing detail. Now most CAD packages, however, I well I don't I want to don't want to say most because I don't know most, but the CAD packages that I'm familiar with uh, some of which do not like to import PDFs. We're going to talk about converting this PDF into a format, a JPEG format, that almost any CAD program can import. And then we can use this in our CAD to trace the necessary formers to get our wing, horizontal stabilizer, vertical stabilizer, and rudder. We'll get all of these outlines drawn out and templates made in CAD to cut our foam. It's a very good plan. Uh, it's kind of dated. 75 pence back in the day. Uh, these plans are considerably more expensive now, which just shows you that uh, what a good, uh, a good reference site these plan sites like Aerofred and Hip Pocket and Outer Zone are. Okay, enough talking about this. We're going to go from here into converting this into JPEG and then importing it into CAD. So stay with me. Well everyone that wraps up where to find the plan. So now that we've got a plan we've got to figure out what to do with it. Now, one of the first things that I do and this might not be a necessary step with your particular CAD program so bear that in mind. But the first thing that I do with that PDF file is convert it to a JPEG because the CAD program that I prefer, SketchUp, works really well with JPEGs used as a background image. So keep that in mind as you look through uh, the selection of free CAD programs that I'm going to talk about here. It's going to be a very, very brief uh, discussion because I cannot choose a CAD program for you and if you already have one well turn this video off because if you've got one and you know how to use it then skip to the next part three where we start taking that CAD and putting it to work but for right now and just to get a CAD program let's take a look online and see what is available and I'll tell you as much as I know which is very limited knowledge of all these programs I'll tell you what I know about them and you can choose for yourself. Simple 2D CAD will work just fine. All we're developing here are 2D templates to put on pieces of foam and cut them out. We're not doing any 3D stuff, although if you've got a 3D CAD program, by all means use it. Almost all of them are good for 2D exports. So. To end this long-winded discussion, let's go look at some CAD programs. Stick around. All right, guys, for the final part of 
this episode where we're going to discuss CAD and what's available to you for free. And since this series was aimed at beginners, perhaps you don't have a CAD package, all right. Uh, maybe you're scared of CAD. A lot of people are. They think that it's just something that's just too difficult to learn, and it's not. So we're going to discuss a few of the programs that's available for use that are free, and also we'll end up talking about SketchUp, which is the program that's going to be used further on in this series. So without further ado, let's get started. Now I mentioned SketchUp. SketchUp is a great program, but PDF is something, is a file type that it will not import. It has a lot of import capability, but it will not import a PDF file. And you will find on all the sites where plans are available nowadays, PDF is by far and away the most preferred format. So if you download these PDF files, you're going to have to convert them in some programs. I don't know if all of these require it, but in some programs, you're going to have to convert that PDF to a format that your CAD program can import. In my case, I convert to JPEG. Now, I use Photoshop to do that. There are, however, online PDF to JPEG converters, as you see here. Just type into Google PDF to JPEG, and a bunch of free online con uh, converters show up. If you have any sort of an imaging program, I'm sure that it will probably convert it for you, too. I mentioned Photoshop because I have it. There's a free version uh, of Photoshop, an open source. It's uh, got the politically incorrect tag of GIMP, G-I-M-P. And if you'll look that up online, it's a very, very powerful imaging program. And it has the capability to convert to. But however you do it, if your CAD package requires it, then you're going to have to convert that PDF to JPEG. And once that's done, then you can start looking at how to develop what we're going to need to make this model. If you'll type in on the internet free CAD programs, you're going to get a bazillion hits. There are a lot of them out there, a lot. And of course, this is way beyond the scale of this video to talk about each and every CAD package that's available. But here are a few, starting with QCAD. It's an open source CAD program uh, that's been around a while and the guys are constantly working on it. A lot of times some of these open source programs kind of get abandoned, but this one has not. Main features are all listed down here. It's a pretty nice, pretty nice CAD package. LibreCAD is another open source. It's 2D CAD and again has been around for quite some time and it's been updated and renewed. As I talk about these, one thing to keep in mind on any of these programs are training resources that's going to be required if you are unfamiliar with CAD. Make sure you pick a package that has a lot of online training and most of these, if you'll go to YouTube and type in the name of the package, you'll see a lot of online training for you. So most of these that I'm showing you here fall into that category. But again, before you pick one, go to YouTube, look at some of the training videos, and see if that looks like it's going to be your cup of tea. FreeCAD is another CAD uh, program. This is a parametric modeler, and I'm not going to get into patromeric. <laughs> direct versus parametric at this point. But one of the things that this offers is 3D. And 3D is important if you want to grow into producing your own parts, as I do, from 3D solids exported as STL files, then taken to a 3D printer and printed out in plastic. I do a lot of my own parts 3D printing them on a 3D printer right here in the shop. But you must have a program that will handle 3D and export STL. FreeCAD's one of them. Design Spark Mechanical. This is another uh, 3D and program. Uh, it's kind of untraditional in that it does not use uh, a lot of the so-called common uh, methods of 
design development, but it might be right there for you if you take a look at some of their training videos and decide that's what you want. Going to one that's not free, but that has been around for a long time, and there are a lot of training resources available, is TurboCAD. TurboCAD is one of the older CAD packages. It's come along, of course, and been developed into a nice 3D and very expensive package. They do have a designer series. It's 2D for 50 bucks if you want to go with purchased. TurboCAD, like I said, has been around so long that older versions are available even on eBay for pretty cheap. And I'm not going to go down here and advertise for all these guys, but older versions are available of TurboCAD on eBay. That's just one more source if you feel like you need to buy a package. But now, let's talk about the three that I would recommend. First of all, if you want a 2D CAD package, you're not going to be able to beat DraftSite. DraftSite is free. It's by Dassault Systems. And they are pros in the big CAD uh, business. I mean, they have just about everything in the way of CAD software and development and industries going. But drilling down through the DraftSite Professional page, you'll find their free version for hobbyist and non-professional use. You have to sign up with Dassault, and they'll send you then a key so that you can open it. But it is free, and it's an AutoCAD-like clone. And if you're familiar with AutoCAD or had any AutoCAD training, you'll be right there. It's got the same command structure and everything. So that would be my recommendation if you're just learning 2D. Now, if you're going to go 3D and look to go to the future, then it's hard to beat Fusion 360. It's a product that's been put out by uh, Autodesk, AutoCAD. Fusion 360 for hobbyist is another free program. And this program is just amazing. It's got a much steeper learning curve than any of the others that we've talked about, but it is an amazing program. It has a host of tutorials and other resources online. A lot of makers, for instance, those of us that like to print uh, 3D parts, have embraced this because it's easy to use and it's extremely powerful. It not only is a 3D CAD program, it's also CAM. And again, that's so far beyond the scope of what we're doing here. I'm not going to bother talk about it, but if you are uh, cognizant of the fact that it's a CAM package too, you'll realize how powerful that is. <clears throat> and again, all for free. So Fusion 360, if you want to dive in at the deep end of the pool and learn something that will take you from here to forever as far as CAM and CAD are concerned. Last but not least, we're going to talk about lowly old SketchUp, which I've been using for years. Now, I'm going to put in an editorial here. I think Trimble has pretty much ruined SketchUp. They've gone to a subscription-based system. They've gotten rid of SketchUp Make, which was the free version, and it was extremely powerful. They've taken the free version now and put it as an online version and stripped out, ripped away all of the plugin features that made it such a powerful program. Now they want you to pay for it, of course. You can't blame a company for wanting to make money, but SketchUp has been around since Google bought it from some startup company a long time ago. And I've been using SketchUp for a long time because it's very simple, very easy to learn, and it does what I want it to do, even in 3D. The saving grace of all of this is that older versions are available and I'm going to be using, and I'll, this is the last one that I'll ever use, I'm using SketchUp 2017. There's a pro version involved, uh, that you can buy. SketchUp Make, however, 2017, 
is a standalone program. You don't have to subscribe to anything. And it's free. And it's extremely powerful and well uh, documented online. There are probably more tutorials for using SketchUp online and YouTube than for any other program. I used a 64-bit Windows version that you can get, and I'll down I'll put the uh, download links in the remarks section below. But if you're wanting to follow along using the exact same program that I'm going to be using in this series, then you'll want to come here and get SketchUp Make 2017. Um, that will pretty much wrap up now what we've wanted to talk about as far as the different CAD programs and the CAD program that I'm going to be using in this series. But again, keep in mind the three big guns here are DraftSight, Fusion 360, and SketchUp. So again, we're going to be using SketchUp Pro. Download the Make version for free right here, and you'll have exactly what I'm going to be using. So thanks, guys. Now we're going to close up things, close up shop this time. Maybe the next video won't be so long-winded, and we'll be getting into the nitty-gritty of actually designing the model. So things should move faster from here. Thanks for staying with me. That's it for this video, guys. Uh, next video, things should get a lot more interesting. So sorry for being so long-winded to get everything set up, but it's important that we all start from the same spot. So next video, we'll get into the nitty-gritty of actually getting the uh, plan into our CAD program, which in my case is going to be SketchUp 2017. You can use your CAD program, just any one of them that you found that will work, that will import either a PDF or a JPEG image and allow you to scale it. That's all that's necessary. So we'll go on now to something maybe a little bit more interesting. Thanks for watching.